Okay. All right. So how did you do this? So it's really easy. You have the pattern. Um, it's going to be on the site, but it has the four shapes. So they're just little shapes like this. And then we're going to get a piece of muslin, just whatever. Uh -huh. And then a little piece of batting. Um, part of the reason this project was inspired too is um, a lot of times my long arm quilter will give me my leftover strips. Mm -hmm. And so you have a bunch of strips that are right. These about weird. this size, you know, <laughs> yeah. it's like, what do I do with that? But yeah. Um, these are great projects to use that up. And so you're going to that. layer those and then you'll put like your muslin side down. Oh, here, sorry. Yep. Show that, show that sorry. layering. So you just have like your muslin and your batting. Okay. And then you just layer it down. Uh huh. And then we're going to start our stitch and flip. And to do that, we're just going to take two strips. Which one should we do? Um, oh, let's do green. Well, you've already made a couple of trees. Yep. Uh, could we do the star? We can do the okay, star. Okay, look at how cute the star is. When she sent me that and I saw the little rainbow out of the Kimberbell Basics. Oh, I love it. So let's do the star. All right. So the star, um, like if we were doing the tree, we're just going to stitch and flip all the same direction. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing. But the star, we're going to show you the, the little bit trickier part. So that's a good one to do. Right. Um, because we decided to change our direction so we could fit a little more colors on there. Okay. And are we going to go sell these? Yep. We are going to okay. go sell we gotta these. we got to go use the, the sewing machine in All a right. second. But. So we're going to go on our little field trip. <laughs> um, are you going to sew? Um, how about you sew? I would love to sew. All right. The Aria. Okay. We have our sewing machine here we see that okay all right so we have this and we're just gonna layer it and then the first thing you're gonna do is these strips are cut one inch strips by about five and a half yeah. so it will cover the whole width of my um my batting either way I go. So I have the muslin side down. I was going to try to show them what that looked like. Yeah. So just like little one by five strips, a great way to use up all those little. Yeah. Tiny pieces. Yeah. Little over. extras. I even brought up some like little teeny tiny pieces. This is about a two inch square. Cause like on the Christmas tree. Right. You can get away with just using smaller ones, but yeah. Okay. So I have my batting and my muslin. What am I going to do first? So just place those face down so the muslin's down okay and then we're going to like this yep oh okay so muslin down yep and then we're going to start with two strips and we're going to put the strips right side together okay so Can you see that okay and you just have two blues right yeah two i have two blues but we colors. can grab yep we can grab whatever you that's want that's okay no let's do do, you, do we have any purple um, okay, let's I use did, blue. <laughs> but I don't have purple. We'll use blue. Unless there's a little scrap. Yep, okay, great. so blue. Oh, there's. Is there a purple? Uh, someone said, look at Johnny's Bees, uh, my girlfriend's sweatshirt. Oh, but wait. You guys, it is, we're look, twinners. We're twinners. We, we have a team. It um, is super snowy here. and We drove up from uh, down south yeah. in the snow. I think we barely... Someone said they closed the canyon after that accident. Oh, so I think they? it's accidentally saw. Because we saw a car we crash. Like, yeah. and there, anyway, it was bad. Great. So we're <laughs> glad we made it. It wasn't that snowy, though. No, it was slick, though. Yeah. All right. Okay, I don't see any purple. Okay. okay. So we're going to layer two things. So and on these ones, we're just going to go along one edge. So we're going to start and we're going to go along one edge. And then afterwards, we'll come back and we'll go this way. So oh, we're okay. going to go that. this direction. And these ones, if you're using two colors, don't need to be quite as long. So we're just going to we'll snip these ones about in half. And you're putting them right sides together. And then you're going to just stitch along one side. So on the batting, put that there. And, and which way am I, where do I my stitch in? It doesn't Here. really matter. Oh, this is the center? This is, yep, this is going to be the center. Okay. Love this machine. 
Вот So I had someone last week that was swooning. That was swooning? Yes. About what? About the I got to sew while you sang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But we're not going to repeat that. We're not going to repeat that? <laughs> You're going to have to oh, sing your own. We have to sing as we sew, like Chris. Mm -hmm. I'm singing and sewing and sewing and singing. It's weird that we have an audience in here. That's what's strange. It is kind of weird. So there were like... We're in the office, and people are working while we're doing this. So just... Ooh, Teresa gets to drive the canyon tomorrow. Teresa, be careful. Yeah, be very, very careful. And for the record, what's the speed limit in Manaway? <laughs> okay, there's a speed trap. You might <laughs> be wary of two. It goes from 65 to 60. Okay, so I did that. All right, so now... Oh, you flip those open. How are you going to get them to stay flat? What if I had like an ironing pen? A pressing pen? A pressing pen. Is that what it's called? It is. Okay, we hand that to me because I've never used it before. All right. So this is the Kimberbell pressing pen. How do I use it? You are going to open it up and you're going to put... So he, it just dripped. So it has just a little bit of liquid in it. It dripped a little bit. Yep. Oh, dear. And you're just going to run it along that seam. And then okay. it has a little bit of a relaxer in it. And look at that seam now. Oh, wow. That's pretty slick. That is. Because right? I do look a lot of that face. string He's piecing. Like, uh huh. So, yeah. All did right. that work better than you thought it would? It did, actually. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so now what? Now you're going to choose another strip to go on top okay. of either direction of those. Okay. Should I go green? Sure. I feel like it should go like green this way, right? Now you're going to put it face down. Yeah, so face down, they can see that. Face down. And then you're just going to do another pretty, quarter inch Pretty stitch. sides together, as my niece would say. My niece Isabel taught um, children sewing for a long time. So she did pretty sides and ugly sides. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. Right? I wish I knew what that was doing, but it's fine. Okay. There's some salvage um, ornaments would be cute. You could do oh, some yeah, of those. Oh, yeah. Did someone so say cute. that? Yeah. Salvage would be super cute. All right. So same thing. We're just going to kind of press that open. I wish I was, like, patient enough to save my salvages, but I'm just not. Me either. But there are some that are so cute. Well, yeah, like the Cotton and Steel, the Ruby Star. They all do those really fancy salvages lately. So what about, I like this one, just slightly lighter. Yeah. What do we do the other way, though? I don't know. Okay. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I'll figure it out. So, so two little strips. Yep. Pretty side down. I do love the string piecing like this because this is like foundation piecing. Yeah. So Julie says the pattern is not showing up. So, um, do they need to like refresh or something? Oh, she got her ruler today. <laughs> How is your ruler? I get mine. Mine's downstairs. <laughs> oh, what do I have to do to get one? Do I have to join um, the club? I don't know. We'll, we'll take a vote. Who thinks Johnny should get a ruler? <laughs> I think Johnny should get a ruler. I love that ruler. <laughs> That's green. The club ruler. The club ruler. How do I get? <laughs> you guys, Chris said I could have one. <laughs> yeah. And I am with the ruler. Thanks, Kathy. I think that's a good idea. Kathy What's got Kathy that says? fixed for. Oh, okay. Kathy said she'll get it fixed. I know. And Kathy's but now... not going to like me because I went to load that last night in the club and it didn't get finished all the way. This is kind of cool. Kathy. You guys look at that how that pressing they've probably already seen the pressing pen, right? They have. Like but it's they just already magic. Know. <laughs> well look. Are you gonna hide him? <laughs> yes. Look. With Jackie this ruler. <laughs> Jackie Here has there's the ruler. Ready? Where? Ready? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. I feel so official. 
<laughs> Look how cute that is. Do you see the, the logo? Yeah. Right it's adorable. Here. Oh, there we go. There it is. There's the girlfriend's logo. Joanne says I need to join the club. Well, luckily, I got the ruler. <laughs> no, he needs to join the club. I do need to join the club, though. Okay, what color should I do this way? Because we need something down this. Do we need something down yeah, this way still? We're gonna need a little bit more. Like, should I go lighter or? <laughs> Kathy's got a list for me. Things I owe her for, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I got a list. I made a list. Did you notice how Chris just like casually snuck out? Yeah. They're sneaky. They're super sneaky. Okay. I'm just string. Well, I really love this because I do love that. Um, I love the foundation piecing. Yeah. I want to do that for a class in the future. Hey, Sybil joined the club. Sybil did? Yeah, it's gonna Congrats. be her it's gonna be her first year. Woohoo! Sybil, we're so excited and to be here. says, there. Johnny, you aren't cool until you join the club. Well, that's true. Ambiel knows. <laughs> she, I love Ambiel. <laughs> I do too. She's been a club member the whole time. She's the greatest. Someone said their ruler is in Sandy. Chris says mine is at the Sandy shop. We're waiting for you to pick it up. I'm gonna do this pen again. Do you want to set that down or is it okay? Yeah, it's okay. All right. That way they can see. Of course, Ann Bill says she's a, a club lifer. Well, thank goodness for people like Ann Beal. She asked me my shoe size. <laughs> Did you see those shoes I posted? The, which one? You're posting posted, shoes all the time. <laughs> I posted some um, sparkly shoes that I wanted. And Ann Beal's like, what's your size? I'm like, I'm not telling you. <laughs> She'd buy them for me. Those people, they're so nice. Like, I'm not telling. Oh, I should tell people about the suit. I forgot her name. I'm so sorry. So a customer called the Sandy store and said, hey, I found a um, Christmas light suit here in, on my Facebook page. Do you want me to buy it for you? It's only $45. Isn't that so nice? I said, no, you better not. They're so sweet, though. They are. I just love, just love it. Kathy is, Baisley is also going to be joining us for the club in the for for the first time this year. Alice said, um, "Will be my year two for me." And Judy McNew, it'll be her third year. Donna Passeri says, "My first year. Can't wait. Maybe I'll get my ruler today. I hope so." Yeah. Yeah. Um, like what Judy just said, quilters. But I think it's just uh, this community, too, that we have is so, so giving and so kind. It's amazing. Yes. Okay. Are. So I made this little blue. Is that thing is big enough? I think that one's going to be big enough. Okay. Then I'm going to do something yep. on this side, right? Yep. So, so we're going to do yep. red. Now we're going to switch directions. And we're going to start so that we cover those ones that we've already sewn. So you see that this line right here? Oop, oop. This line right here. We're going to cover that up. Yep. Pretty sides together. Yep. Pretty sides together. Cover it up. So our little quarter inch. What's seam. nice is too that I don't have to really worry about that being straight because my seam is going to make it straight, right? Yep. Your seam will you make see it straight. That? And you can even sew them like a little bit wonky with one inch strips. It's a little bit harder, but you can sew them um, a little bit wonky if you. I like want um, that. I like purposeful wonky. Mm -hmm. Or if it happens to be won wonky, like they said, like they say, like once is a mistake, but twice is a design choice. So make sure you do things twice and three times to make it a design <laughs> choice. I need to start thinking that through in more projects because yep, it's definitely. like whoops. whoops. <laughs> we don't want to be perfect. No. Shannon says I've been sewing for thirty years, and this is my first year in the club. Things have changed so much, and I've learned a lot. Thank you, my girlfriend's oh, shop. Thanks, Shannon. Thank you for that comment. Yeah, that's always so nice to hear things like that because we sure try. We want to we want to give you some good stuff and teach you some good things. Do I need to push down on this to get more liquid or no? Yep. Well, oh, like that. Oh, there you go. That works. Yep. Or you I can squeeze need... the panel because it says oh. like push on the side. Oh dear. <laughs> I do love that. Is that a design choice? Too? Yeah, I need, I need one of those. 
I know those are fantastic. So should I do an orange? Let's do an orange and then a orange. yellow, right? Yeah. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much for doing this. Yeah. I really appreciate it. So I always think like my kids, like I would probably try and be way more organized and my kids would just sew whatever on. Right. So, but it's, it's great because either way will work out. I just was thinking this would be so fun for, like I said, like if you have the grandkids over or nieces and nephews or something like that, you know, like have them sit down and help you at, you know, everyone make their own ornament for the tree or a gift card for mom. He's really liking that pen. I really am. I'm going to be honest. I need to get one. Should we do this yellow? I love all your Kimberbell basics. Here, should I here. give you a little history piece right here? This yeah. one. This one here is actually a scrap from when Chris opened her store for the first year. Really? Yep. Did you buy it there? Um, I did. did. You work for I did. Them? A, I did a sample for her, and you worked. I happened to see then? that, and I'm like, I know that that is a piece from that skirt I did. So just say that, that one more time. That's that, that scrap. <laughs> that scrap is from Chris the first year she opened her store. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. I love that. Do, do fabrics ever bring back memories for you? Oh, of course. You're like, I remember where I bought that. Well, like I, I just... So for you guys, I posted on Facebook and Instagram that I found the piano that I learned to play on when I was like seven years old. I found it for sale on Facebook and I'm buying it. Isn't that amazing? So it's so funny because my mom painted it green and I don't know where it's been for the last 40 years, but it's been somewhere. So when you saw that, did your heart like stop? Well, at first I was like, oh, it can't be the same thing, you know, because I just passed by it. And then I saw it again and I was like, that's probably the same piano. And then I sent it to my dad and my sister and they both remembered. Okay. So now I have something that looks like that. Yep. Now what? Now we're going to create our back of our okay. envelope. Are we going to stay here? We could stay. Well, you're going to have to sew in just a minute. Okay. We're going to have to sew. Okay. Should so we... those are pe Hold on one up here. We're here. I'm just getting the little tray to hopefully make it a little more steady. Yeah, so I'm not bouncing around here. All right. All right. So now what? We have some pieces oh, yeah, that are a little bit here more. There we go. <laughs> a little bit bigger. And what we're going to do is you want to um, kind of decide where your seam is going to fall in the widest part of your design. Okay. And this is the star. Yep. So this one, you can see this is where I learned this one, that it's right here, but it actually needs to be a little bit lower so that both pieces fall in that, that wide part. Because okay. this, I have to go clear up to this little teeny tiny area to flip right. it. It makes it tricky. So if it comes down here on this one. Okay. But on the mitten, you need to make sure it's above the thumb so that you can right. flip it. Okay. So, um, so you're going to decide which one, which fabric or fabrics you want for the back. Let's do, I like this blue. That's cute. All right. So on the star, you can probably just cut it in half with that piece. And once again, I just grab scraps and in the pattern. It gives you a size about that you need, but you can just do it out of, they don't have to oh, match. This in so, half? Yep. And then I say uh, scrap here, the better. Look, here comes Crystal. Do you guys met Crystal? Say hello, hello Crystal. Crystal. We're doing three of three. How's it going? <laughs> Good. And she's oh, like, and <laughs> so Judy says, tell Chris Johnny needs a pen to go with his ruler. <laughs> we'll just have, have him a whole little gift guys, pack. <laughs> we've been requesting things from Chris all afternoon. You, some you'd people, be amazed at the things people are requesting over here. Some people are getting a Solaris. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe not. Okay, so what do I do with this now? So we're just going to fold it about an eighth of an inch. Okay. And then we're going to fold it one more time. Oh, okay. And then we're just going to top stitch that. Okay, I can do so, that. 
I can top stitch. We were doing the rocking around the Christmas tree yesterday. So if anyone lives nearby Sandy or Logan store, you can still schedule a time to do that. And one of the things I'm like, okay, now just go and do a little top stitch so you can make it finished if you'd like. Yeah. It makes things look so good. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now on the other side, good job. Thanks. I didn't do a top stitch because I didn't want the bulk. Oh, I just wow. zigzagged the edge so it wouldn't fray. Nope. You're, okay. Are you going to do a top stitch or you on want to zigzag? On the next one? Yeah. I want a top stitch. Okay. Of course. Make it look pretty. Okay, but you don't see it. <laughs> yeah, that's how you know it's quality. Oh, okay. I know that it has a top stitch. In the details, it, in the details. Quality is in the details, isn't that what you say? Yep. No, something's in the details. Mm, what is it? <laughs> yes, Joanne, there are two shades of gray. <laughs> not 50. There's not 50 shades. <laughs> And that's where we get fired. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I think I wear this every day now. It's They're, so comfy. They are comfortable sweatshirts. They really are. Oh dear. Uh oh. Nobody's no. mentioned the hat. I don't Does think. anybody like Johnny's Chris hat? Chris likes me in the hat. Look. Does it look, maybe look like younger and thinner, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> Things I'm so worried about. <laughs> Johnny is a couture sewer details. That's right. Wouldn't that be fun to like sew a couture gown? Just like one time. I'm not saying I could, but I just love looking at him. You're like, I think nope. it would scare me. I was like, <laughs> oh, I'd ruin it. <laughs> um,. Sometimes you have to tell your machine that you did indeed rethread the upper threader. I did. I'm working on a machine. Okay. Sorry, I had to rethread. Shauna Madsen, love her, says, Sherry, you have the, great, <laughs> the greatest voice ever. Yeah, you do. I think I sound like my sister. Do Is you ever that think that? Thing? No, I just... So my siblings, we all look kind of the same and sound similar. So, yeah, I get it. Like when I hear her talking, I think it's me. I bet Chris thinks the same thing. <laughs> oh, man. Chris. Oh, Sandra is going to sew a gown. She must, she does a lot of sewing. Sandra, Sandra. Mm -hmm. That's Fern Anderson. Yep. Fern and Sandra are really good friends. Okay. All right. I think I, I forgot now, our pattern piece. Oh, dear. So I have a back now. Two pieces with a top stitch on them. I have this cute guy. I like that. All right. We have a couple things for Johnny. Another tool that we're going to use in a little tool. bit. Oh, dear. <laughs> So he's going to do the star. We're doing the star, star, right? So you're just going to kind of overlap your pieces on like pretty sides together. Like normal. Like yeah. if I was doing a... Oh, dear. That didn't catch. Shh. Don't tell. Okay. Okay. Like so? Yep. Okay. So he's got them just there, and then it's the pretty sides together. So there's the, the pieces. And then you're just going to place your piece so that your widest side is, or your widest area is right where those um, two pockets overlap. Okay. So like so, that, right? Yep. So you just want enough room there that you can turn it. And then am I drawing a line? Yep, you're going to draw. And we have either the Kimberbell soluble marker or we have a friction pen that you can use. Oh, I'll do this one. All right. That one's probably faster. It's probably a little bit easier to see on that. Sandra says, yes, I've made several wedding dresses and many prom. Oh, wow, Sandra. I've never, still made, never made clothing. I've bought plenty of fabric to make shirts, but 
It just sits. When I was younger, I always wanted to make my own prom dress. Instead, I yeah. just borrowed one from a neighbor. Were you having him. a pretty in pink <laughs> moment? Did you? I didn't, no. <laughs> okay, any of you watch Pretty in Pink? <laughs> my mom was not Molly a sewer. Ringwald. So she, I knew it was out. Oh, but you know that movie, right? Yeah. Who she doesn't like, know that movie? Well, some people it's might a classic. not know. Classic. Um, she collects all the vintage dresses and then cuts them apart, makes her own dress. I just thought it was so cool. I never did anything like it, of course, but. So my daughter with COVID, they actually have friend proms now where it's not oh, yeah. a school thing. So to one of her friend proms, she actually wore my mom's prom dress. Oh, really? Yeah. And it, and we didn't tell my mom and she just came out to show her and she, my mom looks at, she's like, oh, that's cute. She's like, wait, that's my prom dress. So wait, wait, wait a second. Before you sew it, we're going to put your little string in. Oh, I love the, what do yeah. we call that? The baker's twine. The baker's twine. Now. So you're going to need about six inches of baker's twine. And okay. here's another little tip. Tie it in a knot. Okay. Because if you sew it, it just catches it better and it won't pull through. Oh, nice. So. Our knot's going to be on the outside of the design. Okay, Alice says, I made a double knit pantsuit in 1974 and loved it. Never again. <laughs> so somewhere, I have a picture of my mom. She made a patchwork double knit pantsuit. So she patchworked first squares of double knit red, and then she pieced it in. I mean, she made it into a pantsuit. It's That's like the like best. A quilting it's, jackets. It's, oh. And you want one of I those. Want you guys. Yeah. I have a friend working on one right you now. Do? It's, it's fun to see it. Okay, so that needs to go inside of that your... That goes inside, right? Yep. So like... So like we... inside, inside. So in oh. here... And comes up. And comes kind of, out. Yeah. Okay, can you show, can we yep. show that better? Yep. So that baker's twine for the hanging tag, the hang tag, I she just put that inside my sandwich and then the knot coming up out of the top. Yep. So it would be, when it gets flipped, it'll be inside. Yep. Right? It'll be on the outside. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah exactly. <laughs> We're saying it right, right? Yeah. So now I'm just going to stitch on the star, right? Yep. And you just stitch right on, right on the outline. You don't have to give it a quarter inch or anything like that. Just sew it right on the... Okay. This has that cool pivot feature. It does. Look, turning it on. I love showing people that pivot feature. That and the scissor cut. So we have some people that are just joining us too. So I'm gonna show them right here. We're making some stitch and flip ornaments. Oh, you need to sing. <laughs> um, I'm sewing <laughs> and I'm singing and... I'm trying to sing something from Elf. That pivot feature is so great. It is on projects like this. It is the best. And the thread cutter. So when people come and look at machines, I'm like, you have to have a thread cutter. I'm sorry. You just have to. Uh, the needle threader. The needle threader is pretty awesome yeah. too. My eyes are getting a little old. Whoa. I love how fast <laughs> I'm singing. I'm in a store and I'm singing. <laughs> so you guys love Elf. I love Elf so hard. Oh man! Like I think that um, what's his name, Will Ferrell. I think it's probably his best. My favorite movie of his was One Exception. But I just Chris agrees. I love how earnest he is. Like he just is so earnest about the whole thing. Is this uh, and so. Happy. Yes. I don't know. Have you seen Stranger Than Fiction? Anyone seen that? I haven't seen that one. Oh, uh, it's with Will Ferrell, and he is really good too. But yeah, Elf is amazing. <laughs> Annette said she made a dress and had to unpick it so many times. By the time she was done, she hated it. Oh, I think we've all been we've there. We've all had that project in our world. Yep. Okay, so I just went all the way star around star once. Is that all I need yep. to do? Yep, just okay. once. I'm going to cut. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so, so you can now show it to him. Yep. I have cool star. 
See, look how easy that would be for your beginning sewer. Right. I mean, it's all just yeah. really easy, really quick. So now I'm going to cut it out? Yep, you're going to cut it out, and you're going to cut it. This one's just straight, so we can just cut it with straight scissors. But on the mitten and the ornament, I used pinking shears. Oh, okay. Just so I might just give them this little, uh, this little seam allowance. Yep, just like, you know. This is a very small seam yep. allowance. But... It can be a quarter, it can be... It's already sewn, so you don't have to give it much. Right. You can see on here the mitten, how I just did the pinking shears, and it makes it really easy to turn and get it to lay So flat. show them the mitten again. So, you guys, the other day she sends me um, this picture of this mitten, and I was like, that it was totally over the top. It's just so <laughs> cute. This little mitten. That was not one of the cho the shapes that I was thinking. Nope, it wasn't. <laughs> we changed it on him. But I love that these ones, the little ribbing on the mitten goes one way, and then these go the other way. And then the back, how, when I saw this, the little hello, I love that. I'm like, I have to keep the little yeah, hello. Yeah, show them that little, show them a little closer. There you go. So then that's just on the From fabric. the fabric. Yep. That's like totally fussy cutting. Yep. And it was just on my scrap piece, just right on the edge. And it was the only place on there where that little hello was. And I'm like, I have to keep it. So I'm going to show you this one too and talk about this one for just a second. Show the ornament. Cutting. So the ornament, um, this is just your cotton. And I decided to go all the same. So it gives it that nice quilted look. And then this is flannel on the bottom. So it's kind of a fun mix of textures. And on this one, I also went... I still cut them one inch, but I gave a generous seam when I sewed them. Oh, nice. So that they flipped and they're a little bit smaller on there. Okay, so, so All right. I have a star. a star. Now I just flip it. Yep. So did you cut, clip your corners? I did clip my corners. Awesome. I think okay. people saw that. They're All right, like, Johnny, oh, what's Johnny's this? finally learning. What's this? This is the, um, dang it, tell me. This is the. Oh, RNK? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what does it stand for? Does it stand for something? Oh, just the it's RNK. It's the RNK turning tool. All right. It's their name. Yeah, oh, just their name is, oh, three yeah, people's like, names, RNK. This is small. It is small. That's why you need that little RNK turning tool. I can do it. I also Thanks. like the batting, how you did the batting, because the batting adds a little heft. Yeah. And a little bulk. Yeah. And I did, I tried them with um, like a shape flex, and they lay really nice, but they don't have that quilted look. Right. And that's why I was like, no, I like that that little bit of a quilted look. <laughs> oh, no. Alice, pop quizzes scare me, okay? Okay, now. Ooh. I do need one of these. Did I not trim it enough, maybe? No. Is that just right? Just keep Ooh, working up. Cute. See, look at that. Brown. Just pops right out of there. <laughs> that's so cute. Oh, well, my orange got, my yellow got cut off, but that's okay. I made bigger than I needed. Some of them, like the obviously the ornament's probably the easiest one to see where your colors are going to fall, and then the mitten. But the tree, and then like, look, once you get them done, you can go and add buttons, or oh my you could gosh. do stitching on them. That, oh. How did, did that... <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> And here's his star with the loop. And here's my star <laughs> with, the, <laughs> with the finger upside down. What the heck? Okay, I don't know. How did that happen? I don't know. Well, because <laughs> the, the twine was supposed to be upside up at the top. I don't know what I did. It would still work. And if you it's forget the twine, if you forget it's the fine. twine, you could just like sew it through there. It's still adorable. Yeah. So then you have your little multicolored star. That would be really cute. And you could do 
um, like kids could write their name on one of the strips, like on a marker or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So there's the little star with the two directions. So we have all the colors and then we have our little teeny tiny bit of purple on that one. There's the tree. And you add a little button. Yep. And you could just do a little yellow strip to get your top. Show the mitten and again. The mitten. Yeah, when she sent me the picture of that, I'm like, that is so cute. And I thought it was much bigger than it turned out to be. This is a little. No. I little think they're about, they're about the size of ornaments that I have on my right, tree. Exactly. I mean, you don't, have, you don't want them real big. I mean, if you wanted to make them bigger, you guys could do like we did last week and just take them to a copy machine or set your printer to copy them bigger and then yeah. um, just make all of your batting and your strips a little bit bigger. And then like this one, with just the... <laughs> um, Teresa says, just turn your tree upside down. I don't notice. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen those upside down Christmas trees? Yes. There was one at like Home Goods the other day, and I thought that'd be kind of fun to do an upside down Christmas tree. I wanted this to be in there too. Okay. All right. Any questions? Anne Beal. Annie B says they are darling. Annie B. <laughs> yeah, because Johnny B and Annie B. Oh. She said I can call her that. Okay. Just you, though. Just me, I think. She's so great. She is. She's a lot of fun. Joanne says fun projects. Bar Path. You guys. Bar Pasternak sent chocolates. Now, I'm not saying this to encourage you guys to do the same thing, but. <laughs> okay, maybe I am. But Bar sent chocolates to the store and for all the employees. And up here, I just saw the same brand. Wow. So sweet, you guys. We thank you so much. Yes, you thank guys you, are the you, greatest. We enjoy our so customers. do. Oh, I'm gonna. Will you click on? Well, 